am totally aware that we are going into winter, but guys, I live in Florida. There's no such thing as winter, okay? So I'm doing what I want to do. I want to make sure that I have a zenful space, a relaxed like space, something that I can unwind and just clear my mind and relax and i think you should do the same so this is definitely zen inspired minimalistic inspired garden like inspired all kinds of inspirations put into this one balcony and i'm really really excited for you to see what i did because it's definitely something that you can do yourself and very diy friendly if that's something you want to see definitely stay tuned to the end of the video hi everybody welcome back to my channel i am so excited to be doing this video today and as you can see i'm in a totally different background and that's because i'm in my balcony that i diy and renovated and i am so happy that i did that because i love the results so today in this video what you should be expecting is that I'm going to be showing you some DIY projects that I did in order to create this space. I'm also going to give you some minimalistic slash zen-like vibes so that way you can recreate the same experience on your patio, backyard, or balcony if you would like to do the same. And I think you're going to find that it's so easy that anyone can do. And I'm excited! for you to see some of the simple things that I did and some of the things that I ordered off Amazon to be able to give you this look. If you have any questions regarding where I got some of the things, description box will have all the links to all the things that I got off on Amazon or any other website that I may have purchased anything, which not too many things that I purchased off of the web. Mostly everything came off Amazon, you know, and that's it. Let's just get to the video. All right, guys, this is what the balcony is looking like before we get started. I'm just going to quickly tell you what my vision and my main focus for the balcony. And I plan on putting a grass wall, a couch on the floor. I want wood towel. I want a planter in one corner and a tree like in one corner. I want all the sliding glass door frames to paint it black. As you can see, the frame of my sliding glass door looks very outdated and worn out. And looks a little crusty and it definitely doesn't fit the vision I have for the balcony. So I'm going to paint it black using Rust-Oleum's textured paint in matte black, I believe. And I just made sure I covered up all the windows with cardboard and wrapping paper so that I don't get any paint on the windows. So yeah, I want this to fit the vision and this is what it looked like. Right now we're going into the floors. This is what it looks like in the back. You have these little hooks on the side that you just loop it into these holes right here. Pretty easy to put together. So I'll just give you an example here. So I already started placing some down. You see the little hoops right here? You turn it around in the direction you need. And see where the flat edge, that's where the little, and just clip it in. You'll see the whole oh, that's it. And then you just continue on. As you can see, I'm pretty much done. It's super easy to do. I'm not going to go all the way through with the top because I do want to leave a section so I can put plants and make like a little garden area. Now that the towel is down, I'm just adding pebbles on the perimeters just to warm up the space and give it more like a spa like vibe i feel like you can't have zen inspired or spa inspired or relaxation inspired unless you have some black pebbles that's just my opinion so i got these pebbles from the dollar tree yes the dollar tree and i got a lot of them for some reason finding pebbles was not easy and just to give you a snippet about my balcony, I've actually revamped it a while ago, maybe what, last year, but I never had a chance to put the finishing touches like pillows and stuff like that. But before I can do that, we had a hurricane coming in Florida and I had to pull up everything 
out of the balcony and bring them inside so that way I can make sure that it, be, it doesn't become a debris that breaks windows. So with that said, I decided to head to Hobby Lobby and look for some outdoor fabric to create some beautiful pillows um, that would bring everything together and bring my vision together and that tan and black stripe was definitely part of my vision and I just wanted to pair with something more decorative that would kind of add a little splash of color and a splash of pizzazz and that floral print really did it for me in case you're wondering where those pillows came from they're actually old pillows from different comforter sets over the years that i never used so i figured instead of throwing them away i kept them so that i can make use of them and today i'm finally making use of them i'm repurposing them as outdoor patio pillows and i'm just going to cut out the fabric in the shapes of each pillow so that way I can have different shapes and different colors to give me the look I'm looking for outside and right now you can see that I'm using the hand sewer guys it's amazing I love it you guys definitely should get it it's super easy to use the link for um where to get it which is on amazon i'll have it down in the description but it really made my life a whole lot easier and it came out exactly how i wanted no one can't tell me that this was not professional i'm sorry no one can't tell me this did not turn out looking professional in my opinion tell me what you think so yeah i'm just stuffing the pillowcases now with the old comforter pillows and just making sure everything fit now to seal the last side, I'm using glue gun and glue sticks just to seal that last inside because I did not want to sew it together and have like a stitching on the outside. So I figured if I just glue it and just fold the insides of each side of the seams, it'll give it a more polished and more finished look. And I think I was able to do that i think it was pretty successful tell me what you think but i love the way it came out it worked out perfect and i think it will be able to last out there and not have any issues i use glue gun on fabric all the time so yep this is what it's looking like guys and it came out great right now i'm just setting up the pillows outside and just trying to see how i'm going to decorate it see what looks best and as you can see, the patio is coming together beautifully and I love it. The green wall is up. I will go into details later on in the video where I got that green wall, how we put it up and where I got each item. Right now, I'm just placing the extra seating area that I'm going to make in the center to complement the couch. I totally forgot about this, but I just quickly want to say thank you so much. We have reached 200 subscribers. Yay! So just make sure that you continue to keep watching my videos. I have so many exciting things to come. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe and let's continue with the video this table right here guys is 100 percent a diy project it was so easy to do and later on after this clip you'll see what exactly i did in the tour you'll get every detail of what i did in the balcony there's so much detail put into it and i think you're going to appreciate them this is it guys the final look Our mini garden. This is, we use a solar panel. So that's why the water's not completely out yet. I'll have that in the description. Got that from Amazon. Got this from Amazon as well. This is from Dollar Tree. The plants are from Dollar Tree. I kind of created some kind of plant like look and got these plants right here from ikea had them for a while actually they gotten so big got this from the dollar tree got this plant right here one of my favorite got that from ikea 
you know, as you saw in the video that I made the pillows, very comfortable, super cute. So whenever people come, they can come sit down on here. I have another one over here. I also have the table here that, which was a piece of a wood, a long butcher block that we had that we cut down to replace one of the countertops in our master bedroom. And then this was the leftover piece after we cut down the size we needed. And all we did was just add some legs that we got from Amazon and added that on there. Okay. So we're just putting pins on the leftover piece of wood. So we can turn into a little table. On each corner. So yeah, the, this right here, the, the, the tray, we got it from, where did we get it from? Ikea. So this plant right here, we got it from Ross. And this right here, I believe I got it from Joanne Fabrics on clearance. So yeah, guys. And look at the, the, the towel. Isn't it pretty? It just transforms the place. And as you can see, the pebbles that we got from it, it adds a nice spa-like vibe, which is what I was really going for. Spa-like zen like but yet minimalistic the trims of the windows we painted them all black so that everything just fall in line with the whole spa like look so you can see all the the window trims on the outside was painted black inc including the what they call this but yeah the shutters are painted black so it really brings all the black features out and guys this right here is my fiddle lift fig normally this plant is always inside the house and if you guys ever notice some of my videos I always have a fiddle leaf fig in my videos well this is ruby uh, ruby is getting taller and taller <laughs> And matter of fact, I couldn't even put her in my video anymore because she surpassed the viewpoint of where my videos are. I've had her for two years and I love fiddly figs. She's just gorgeous. So the reason why she's outside is because sometimes in the summer, I like to have my plants come out and get some extra sunlight and some extra juices before I put it back in the house. So yeah, so that's that. And um, over here, which is aside from these two seating areas right here, which I love, I think they're so cute and it makes it very comfortable to be able to sit out and you're feeling like you're sitting on the floor, but you're not sitting on the floor and the pillows make it comfortable. And when you have people over, you don't feel like everyone is just blocking the view of the backyard but yet still look nice. I wanted to make sure that we got something that wouldn't be too bulky and wouldn't take up too much space in, in our um, patio. Cause in reality, we could have had a whole sectional of these and put them in the balcony, but then we would lose floor space and we wouldn't be able to put little stuff like the garden that we have here. And of course it wouldn't feel minimalistic because it would take up most of the space and feel cluttered. So I wanted to use up very little space but make it very functional and i think i achieved that you tell me in the comments what you think and um yeah so this little couch here we actually received that as a as a um wedding gift three years ago as a wedding gift from um my mom's friend like a family friend and it never came with pillows. It actually just came with the, the cushions and the back cushion, but it never came with pillows. So I always felt like it was just flat and that's why I decided to create these pillows right here. And I love, 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 love how the look came together. At first, my husband was very skeptical. He was like, that doesn't match, putting those two fabrics together. But I was like, 
don't worry i'm gonna jovify this i'm gonna bring this couch to code and anybody who knows me will know i always make that joke and say that if something's not up to par to how i want it to look i will say i'm going to bring it to code don't worry and right now this is to code it has been jovified and and i love it i really love it no one would have never known these are like comforter pillows that has been reused in different shapes and bring it the colors together make it look like something that was professionally um bought from the stores at least that's how i feel you tell me what you think but i love it this plant right here i actually got it from ikea off the clearance rack i've had that for some time as well and right here is ruby this is my other fiddle leaf fig i love ruby ruby has two stems she has two stems matter of fact they were going growing so wild i had to tie them together because she was leaning which i need to repot her but not yet i don't want to create too much trauma this is ruby she's also my house plant but again like i said i like to bring my plants outside every year during the summer and have them like relax and you know enjoy their life on the outdoors before so-called winter comes about and the, the temperatures start to drop so yeah and finally let's talk about this wall guys talk about huge transformation without this wall i don't think this space would look like this let's be honest it would be so different if we didn't have this and got it from amazon and it's actually a towel it didn't come like one big sheet it comes like a little 12 by 12 towels i believe or 10 by 10 there's different types but i think this one is a 10 by 10 or a 12 by 12 and um what we did was that we placed each towel with a nail so let's say this is the square we'll place a drill and nail here and drill a nail there and then we would hook it and then we would have a drawstring to tie them together and then hook that and then we just basically did the whole thing i forgot how many towels we used for this wall but it's actually we used it top all the way down to bottom as you can see all the way down so yeah this wall is like a showstopper every time someone comes over and what you do after you put the towel in you just kind of blend in the seams so it doesn't look so like towel like and no one can tell where the start and where it begins so yeah do you see this is what the screw looks like it actually had to use concrete screws so if you go to um, Home Depot you can find these concrete screws and just drill those in so yeah guys now that you've officially seen what my newly decorated newly renovated balcony looks like tell me what you think in the description box tell me your thoughts tell me if there's anything you would have done differently or if there's anything i should add in there i'm sure there's something i can add in there but let me know what your thoughts about this and don't forget to thumbs up and share with anyone you know that may want the idea to be able to renovate their outdoors minimalism is different for everybody and that's why i say minimalism done her way because i'm going to do it my way and i'm gonna do simple living my way and i think a lot of you out there can relate to some of the simple ways of living